दोस्तों जूम रिव्यू शो में आपका स्वागत है मैं हूं उमर कुरैशी एंड आई एम बैक विद योर फेवरेट शो गिविंग यू माय वर्डिक्स ऑन ऑल द न्यू मूवीज सो सिट बैक एंड रिलैक्स वाला आई अनलीश लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ मूवीज देयर मस्ती एंड मैजिक बट फर्स्ट आई लाइक टू हियर योर कमेंट्स ऑन एनी ऑफ द फिल्म्स यू वॉच लेटली सो पिक अप योर फोन्स एंड एसएमएस मी ऑन 5888 टाइप सेट आवर स्पेस द फर्स्ट थ्री लेटर्स ऑफ द फिल्म नेम स्पेस योर नेम स्पेस योर रेटिंग फ्रॉम 1 टू 5 स्पेस योर कमेंट्स इफ एनी टू 5888 We will air your comment live during the show. From the house of TV tycoon Ekta Kapoor comes her latest film Shore in the City. It's a black comedy about Amchi Mumbai and tells of three separate stories that are interconnected. It stars Tushar Kapoor, Nikhil Dwedi and Sandeep Ramamurthy. Packaging different stories in one film seems to be the mantra this week. I am has four true life inspired stories in one film. It stars known faces like Juhi Chawla, Nandita Das, Manisha Koirala, Rahul Bose and Sanjay Suri. The unconventional pair of Lara Datta and Vinay Pathak star in Chalo Delhi which is also Lara's first as a producer. So let's start with the review of Shore in the City that introduces us to Abhay Deo's much talked about girlfriend Preeti Desai. देखते हैं ये फिल्म बॉक्स ऑफिस पर कितना शोर मचाती है। जब आप बड़े शहर में रहते हैं, especially Mumbai, the noise level is deafening. It becomes a shroud around you until you can barely hear yourself think. That is the underlying thought that runs throughout Shore in the City. The film revolves around three loosely interconnected stories set amidst the noise and grime of Mumbai during the Ganpati festival. In the overcrowded urban landscape that forms the backdrop of the film, the right and wrong are blurred giving way to the more basic need to survive and succeed as the characters come to grips with the noise from within and outside you realize that in this city which runs on its own self-made rules you don't need an excuse to be good or bad especially bad in fact it's better to be bad than dead from the shy lad he played in mujhe kuch kehna in 2001 to the mute comic in the golmal series tushar kapoor has come a long way ye unki panchvi film hai under the balaji banner and tushar is sensitive as a book selling street vendor who tries to impress his educated wife by reading the books he publishes illegally and then sells through his agents his love making scene with his wife is awkward but makes you smile Well done overall Tush. Preeti Desai is better known as a model and was Miss Great Britain 2006. A British Indian she made history by becoming the first colored woman to ever win the title. In Shore and the City she plays a model and is sure to get more such offers. However, she does not have much to do here apart from looking good. Sandeep Ramamurthy the good looking American actor is best known for his role as Mohinder Suresh in the NBC series Heroes. Sandeep has acted in several theatrical productions and his movies include Love and Debate, Blind Dating and Little India. He has a tall dark brooding personality and holds his own on screen as the naive principal NRI who returns to India to start up a business. He discovers that the noise of the city includes the demands of goons who threaten to hurt him if he doesn't agree to their demands. The transformation of Sandeep from suave to animal to deal with the animals is well done this guy has plenty of potential nikhil dwari was supposed to make a splash with my name is anthony gonzalez but that splash never happened he has been more in the news for his marriage to girlfriend gauri pandit as a part of tushar kapoor's gang of golden hearted goons he shows energy but once again the role isn't too well sketched out nikhil ki screen presence tik tak hai but he needs to move away from the tapori type of roles to showcase his true talent Shore in the City is jointly directed by Raj Nidimoru and Krishna DK. Unki debut film Flavors won rave reviews from around the world and is a cult hit. They followed this up with a mainstream Hindi film 99 with Kunal Khemu, Cyrus Brocha and Soha Ali Khan. They show a flair for natural storytelling and sometimes show immense pathos in a wordless scene with just loud background music rather than eloquent dialogue. They capture the noise and the grime of a tired city well, but they also show the energy on the flip side. Good job guys. The movie has a unique theme giving character to something that is constantly around us without us realizing it noise noise has been given an identity and how it transforms people from the inside out noise is omnipresent and the grime doesn't help it's an interesting plot closely linking three different stories which overlap in the end there are some convincing performances from Tushar Kapoor especially his chemistry with Radhika Apte and also from Sandeep Ramamurthy film mein kafi interesting twists aur kafi turns hain and the film has an identity of its own unlike most other inspired movies the decibels of mumbai are well captured overall a decent watch i give it 3 stars friends come back after a very short break to hear my verdict on i am and chalo delhi <laughs> Welcome back to the Zoom review show I am Omar Qureshi 3 years after his last film Sorry Bhai didn't do much for him director only returns with a multi star I am consists of four short films Omar Afia Abhimanyu and Megha 
Each film shares the common theme of fear and each one is also based on real life stories. Although there are four stories but the characters are interwoven with each story. Abhimanyu is based on child abuse, Omar on gay issues, Megha is about the displacement of Kashmiri pundits and Afia deals with artificial insemination. Juhi Chawla needs no introduction. Apart from a strong characterization, she's also the co-producer of this movie. She does a fantastic job as a displaced Kashmiri pundit who's still bitter about leaving her heavenly garana and refuses to call it home again. She goes back home to find that kuch bhi nahi badla. Her expression and acting move you to tears and she has only shown again why she was on top of her game for so many years. Juhi is sensitive and riveting. Another actress who never really truly realized her full potential in the past is Manisha Koirala. With a translucent skin and a versatile face, Manisha appears every bit the delicate Kashmiri beauty she portrays. Her character is resigned to the fate of the military regime in this beautiful state. Manisha does extremely well and is a treat to watch as the woman who doesn't understand why her best friend Juhi Chawla has become so hard and immune to the beauty of Kashmir. Sanjay Suri's story deals with child sex abuse and is a heart-rending story that brings to life the hidden disease called pedophilia. As the victim, he begins to enjoy his victimization. Sanjay again proves how he's made a niche for himself as an actor who does daringly different roles. Nandita Das's story is about an independent single woman who wants to have a child using artificial insemination via a fertility clinic. Her curiosity about what a child's sperm donor dad is like is what forms the crux of this story. The competent actress that she is, Nandita effortlessly walks through her role, adding another feather to all the sterling actresses who comprise I Am. Onir has directed many small budget movies like Sorry Bhai, My Brother Nikhil and Bus Ek Pal. His movies generally deal with sensitive and taboo subjects like homosexuality, illicit affairs and AIDS. Sanjay Suri has been a part of all his films and that continues with I Am. He is also among the few openly gay directors in Bollywood. He obviously believes in taboo subjects like those in I Am and handles it well. He's already made waves on the festival circuit with this movie and has gotten him many awards. But apart from the brilliant camera work, the fab acting from his lady stars and a cool first half, the story pace changes in the second half. It gets a bit confusing with too much being packed in. And it reiterates the stories a bit much. But overall, Oni tells some compelling stories. The four stories in I Am are sensitive subjects. They deal with taboo topics, not the kind of topics that go down too well with the conservative Indian audiences, but Oni handles them well. The pace of the movie in the second half contradicts the first. While the first half is languid, the second half tries to pack in too much. Some actors seem uncomfortable. The movie is best going to attract a very niche audience and some curious masses. However, it's not the kind of movie that will make a big commercial splash. Unlike the kind of movies that the film's co-producer Juhi Chawla has been used to doing, though it will win applause on the festival circuit, it won't do much globally. I go with two and a half stars for I Am. Nai Naveli Dulhan, Lara Datta and husband Mahesh Bhupati are now movie mates too. Their first joint production Chalo Dilli hits theatres this week. Chalo Dilli is a road movie hai, and passengers are two people, Mihika and Manu. These two are the total opposite of opposites. Hai. Mika is a strong-willed young woman who is a senior VP of a top multinational company in Mumbai and on the other Manu who is everything that Mika is not. Loud, crass and obnoxious and rude. He isn't an idiot. He is very smart, street smart. A bizarre journey through air, road and rail from Mumbai via Jaipur to Delhi. A journey which along with these two protagonists showcases the real India. The colourful and diverse people and all the eccentricities. Vinay Pathak plays the role of Manu Gupta, a sari shop owner from Karol Bagh. He is a good actor but could have been given better lines. There are some forced emotions and he tries too hard to recreate the Bheja Fry magic. His chemistry with Lara Dutta is forced and doesn't convince the audience. In keeping with the latest trend, Lara Dutta too turns producer with Chalo Dilli. She is in a very different role and her look is very unlike her other films. While she tries hard and is good in parts, she is not convincing overall. That she travels through the northern region of India in a skirt without facing a single lewd comment is unbelievable. Though she is decent in the movie, we have seen better stuff from her in the past. Shashan Shah has done a good job with his direction. He has managed to capture the beautiful landscapes of Delhi and Rajasthan and brings out all the qualities of a road trip. But he makes the movie drag too much towards the second half and he tries to suddenly switch tracks from semi-comic to emotional. Chalo Dilli tries too hard to recreate the Bheja Fry magic and while it has shown Delhi beautifully, it does not connect with people who are not from that region. There are certain scenes where the emotions seem forced and are not convincing. Akshay Kumar's cameo is out of place and it is clear that he's done this as a favour. The presence of colloquialism will go down well with the audiences from the northern region and for sure entertainment value, I go with three stars for Chalo Dilli. 
तो फ्रेंड्स देयर यू हैव इट माय वर्डिक्ट ऑन दिस वीक्स न्यू मूवीज एक छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद वील हियर व्हाट द ऑडियंसेस हैव टू से स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द सिनेमास डोंट गो एनीवेयर वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स आई एम उमर कुरैशी ऑन द Zoom रिव्यू शो लेट्स सी व्हाट द ऑडियंसेस हैव टू से अबाउट द फर्स्ट डे फर्स्ट शोस वेरी नाइस मूवी तुषार कपूर वाज रॉक हां मूवी अच्छी है बहुत मूवी वाज ऑसम आई थिंक द मूवी इज अमेजिंग तुषार कपूर रॉक्स एवरीथिंग इज फाइन अबाउट द मूवी नाइस फिल्म नाम नीड वेरी नाइस गुड गुड वेरी गुड आई लव द मूवी इट्स नाइस सिमिलर टू जब भी मैं आई हैव बीन वीडियो चैटिंग विद Yahoo Messenger यूजर्स ऑन द लेटेस्ट रिलीजेस एंड हियर्स माय फेवरेट वीडियो चैट ऑफ द डे Rishi from Baroda chatted with me about Shor in the City. Hi Rishi, how are you and which movie did you catch today? Uh I saw Shor in the City today and uh I think it's an an overrated movie. I don't think it's a good movie. Oh okay, you didn't like the movie. Uh n- not exactly. I like the way it's it has been shown, but the writing I don't know. The it's not well written. Okay, and what do you think of the acting, the performances? uh tushar kapoor uh suits as in in the golmal streak where he doesn't have to say anything uh sentil i saw him for the first time and he is really impressive and of course you must have loved preeti desai because she is so hot yeah she is really hot okay any other point of view uh it it normally shows how does a city function and uh, me coming from baroda it i can relate that movie to add up to some extent yes okay thank you so much rishi for joining me on yahoo messenger and if you want to see yourself on the zoom review show log on to yahoo video chat every friday between 12 noon to 1 pm to chat with me omar qureshi and now a quick recap of my ratings for this week's movies shore in the city ko maine diye 3 stars i am ko maine diye 2 and a half stars chalo delhi gets 3 stars from me you been messaging me your ratings on the films you watch lately and here's a comparison of how you and i rated last week's movies i gave dum maro dum 3 stars you gave it 4 stars dosto thanks for all your messages aap mujhe nayi filmon par apne views bhejte rahiye facebook.com/umarqureshi par you can also sms me on 5888 type set our space the first three letters of the film name space your name space your rating from 1 to 5 space your comments if any to 5888 We will air your comment live during the show. So friends there's a lot happening in the cinemas this weekend action bhi hai drama bhi hai aur comedy bhi he has full on entertainment in theaters and don't forget i got all this for you first on the zoom review show so come back next week same time same place for more fun with me omar qureshi only on the zoom review show till then bye bye and god bless mm-mm, 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 mm-mm.